Welcome to Dividend Income. In this video I'm going to go through stocks under $50 that pay dividends. At the beginning of your dividend investing journey it is difficult to accumulate a lot of the big aristocrat stocks. Some of them are very expensive. Here are 10 stocks that have years of dividend paying history, decent yields and all fall under the $50 level. The purchase prices and yields of these stocks were correct as of the 2nd of October. The market is so volatile at the moment they might have dropped again by the time this video is posted. First up is Altria Group, ticker symbol MO. This is a current buy price of $40.38. It has a yield of 9.1%. It pays $0.94 cents quarterly in January, April, July and October. The next dividend payment is October 11th and the ex-dividend date was on September 14th. Let's have a look at what the analysts think. Tip ranks have it as a moderate buy with two buy and three hold. Price targets are $54 high, $48.80 medium and $45 low. Based on the average that is a 20.85% upside. Market beat has a consensus of hold based on nine analysts. Price target of 57 high, 47 medium and 36 low. So based on the average that is 16.39% upside. So both agree upside potential there. Next up is Bank of America, ticker symbol BAC. This is a current buy price of $30.18. It has a yield of 2.83%. It pays 22 cents quarterly in March, June, September and December. The next dividend payment is December 30th and the ex-dividend date is December 1st. Let's have a look what the analysts think. Tip ranks have it as a moderate buy with 9 buy and 5 hold. Price targets are 51 high, $41.46 medium and 34 low. Based on the average that is a 37.28% upside. Market B has a consensus of moderate buy based on 17 analysts. Price target of 64 high, $46.58 medium and 33 low. So based on the average that is a 54.23% upside. So a lot of upside potential here. Next up is Canadian Imperial Bank of Commerce, ticker symbol CM. This is a current buy price of $43.76. It has a yield of 8.1%. It pays $0.83 cents Canadian, which works out roughly as $0.62 cents US. This is paid quarterly in March, June, September and December. The next dividend payment is on October 28th and the next dividend date was on September 27th. Let's have a look at what the analysts think. Tip ranks have it as a strong buy with 6 buy, 2 hold and 0 sell. Price targets are $60.73 high, $55.67 medium and $49.88 low. Based on the average that is 27.22% upside. Market B has a consensus of hold based on 9 analysts. Price target of 86 high, 83.75 medium and $80 low. So based on the average, that is a huge 91.38% upside. I'm not too sure if these figures are correct, but according to market beat they are. There just seems to be a massive difference between that and tip ranks. I'm not too sure if, they're, if they've got the figures wrong based on the uh, Canadian currency or not. Maybe one to look into. Next up is Cisco, ticker symbol CSCO. This is a current buy price of $40.05. It has a yield of 3.8%. It pays 38 cents quarterly in January, April, July and October. The next dividend payment is on October 26 and the ex dividend date for this is October 4th. Let's have a look what the analysts think. Tip ranks have it as a moderate buy with 7 buy, 11 hold and 1 sell. Price targets are 73 high, 54 medium and 44 low. Based on the average that is 35% upside. Market B has a consensus of hold based on 20 analysts. Price target of 71 high, $53.68 medium and 44 low. So based on that, the average is 34.21% upside. Again, with the current market, a lot of upside potential here. Next up, Citigroup, ticker symbol C. This is a current buy price of $41.54. It has a yield of 4.9%. It pays $0.51 cents quarterly in February, May, August and November. The next dividend payment is on November 23rd and the ex-dividend date is November 4th. Let's have a look at what the analysts think. Tip ranks have it as a moderate buy with 5 buy, 8 hold and 1 sell. 
Price targets are 86 high, $61.46 medium and 46 low. Based on the average, that is 47.49% upside. Market B has a consensus of hold based on 17 analysts. Price target of 86 high, $62.19 medium and 46 low. So based on the average, that is 49.25% upside. A lot of gains lost with Citigroup recently, but this would take it well above that recent rally a few weeks ago if these target prices are, are met. Next up is Comcast Corp. These are the Class A shares, ticker symbol CMCSA. This has a current buy price of $29.33 and it has a yield of 3.7%. It pays $0.27 cents quarterly in January, April, July and October. The next dividend payment is on October 26 and the ex-dividend date is October 4th. Let's have a look at what the analysts think. Tip ranks have it as a moderate buy with 9 buy, 8 hold and 3 sell. Price targets are 55 high, $43.94 medium and 33 low. Based on the average, that is 49.81% upside. Market B has a consensus of hold based on 24 analysts. Price target of 67 high, $48.74 medium and 33 low. So based on the average, that is a huge 66.18% upside. Main Street Capital Corporation is next, ticker symbol M-A-I-N. This has a current buy price of $33.64. It has a yield of 7.7%. It pays $0.22 cents every month. The next dividend payment is on October 14th and the next dividend date is October 6th. Let's have a look at what the analysts think. Tip ranks have it as a moderate buy with two buy, one hold and zero sell. Price targets are 47 high, 43 medium and 39 low. Based on the average, that's a 27.82% upside. Market B has a consensus of hold based on five analysts. Price target 48 high, $42.18 medium, 37 low, so a 27.23% upside from them. Next up is Pfizer, ticker symbol PFE. This has a current buy price of $43.81. It has a yield of 3.7%. It pays 40 cents quarterly in March, June, September and December. The next dividend payment is December 5th and the next dividend date is November 3rd. Let's have a look at what the analysts think. Tip ranks have it as a moderate buy with 5 buy, 6 hold and 0 sell. This is a very broad range. Price targets are 109 high, $61.73 medium and 44 low. Based on the average that's a 41.06% upside. Market B has a consensus of moderate buy based on 18 analysts. These seem like more realistic price targets. Price target of 76 high, 57 medium and 44 low. So based on the average that is a 30.26% upside. Next up is Verizon Communications Inc. Ticker symbol VZ. This has a current buy price of $38.02. It has a yield of 6.8%. It pays just over 65 cents quarterly in February, May, August and November. Next dividend payment is November 1st and the next dividend date is October 6th. Let's have a look at what the analysts think. Tip ranks have it as a hold with 2 buy, 12 hold and 2 sell. Prices are 64 high, $49.16 medium and 33 low. Based on the average that's 29.47% upside. Market B also has a consensus of hold based on 20 analysts. Price target of 71 high, 54 and 39 medium and 40 low. So based on the average, that is 43.24% upside. And finally, we have Wells Fargo and Company, ticker symbol WFC. This has a current buy price of $40.22. It has a yield of 2.9%. It pays 30 cents quarterly in March, June, September and December. The next dividend payment is on December 1st and the ex dividend date is November 3rd. Let's have a look at what the analysts think. Tip ranks have it as a moderate buy with 10 buy, 2 hold and 1 sell. Price targets are 62 high, $53.15 medium and 45 low. Based on the average that's a 32.15% upside. Market B has a consensus of moderate buy based on 16 analysts. Price targets of 67 high. $55.97 medium and 45 low. So based on the average, that is a 39.16% upside from here. Right, that is all of the 10 stocks. I hope these have helped. 
Thanks for watching. A quick disclaimer now. As always, you should do your own research when investing. I'm not a financial advisor, and though and these are my personal views. The purpose of this video is to give you additional information and hopefully help in making informed decisions. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Here are a couple more videos you might be interested in.